Hey, welcome to Ritesh Tech Lab. This video is actually a remake of one of my past video that I pretty much fucked up by putting its playback speed little fast, actually too fast. So many users requested me to remake that video and this time at normal speed. Also some users asked me to use voiceover instead of some background music. So here it is. First install two tools that we gonna need that are Genome Tweak Tool and Chrome Genome Shell. After that open up your favorite web browser and go to the extension.genome.org. Then find and click on user themes extension. We need to install this genome extension so instead of downloading you can directly install it from browser. To do that you need to install one browser extension listed just above it. Then refresh the page. And you can see a beautiful on off switch on the right hand side. Just turn it on to install that extension. After that open up a new tab and search for genome look. And at the very first result you will find the link for genomelook.org. On the left hand side find the GTK3 themes and click on that. Here click on the scores tab that will sort them based on their popularity. And at the very first we got the Mac OS Mojave theme, just click on that. And then go to the files tab. And here you can see it's available in two modes, dark mode and light mode. Download whatever you prefer or download both. I am downloading the light mode. Now let's search for the Mac OS cursors and find the mac os mode cursor now go to the files and download it we also need mac os icons so go back to the mac os mojave theme page and here you will find the link for the icons page go to the files and these icons are available in so many color schemes. Choose whatever you like. I am downloading the blue one. After that, close the browser and go to the files that we have downloaded and extract them. And let's put them on desktop for now. Here you can see one more folder that is wallpapers. Don't worry, you will get that in the upcoming part. Now let's go to your home directory and make the hidden files visible. Now you can see a bunch of hidden files and directories. You have to do nothing with them. Instead, create two new directories that are dot themes and dot icons where we will put our downloaded files. Now go back to the folder where we put the extracted files and copy the cursors and icons folder and place them inside dot icons directory that we have just created. Just renaming it for simplicity nothing important. Also make sure there is no subfolder inside the main icon and cursors folder. If there is so move them outside that folder. And similarly place the Mac OS Mojave theme files inside the .themes directory. Now open up the tweak tools we installed at the very beginning. 
and go to the appearance tab and change the theme for the applications to Mojave theme that we just installed. Then change the cursors and icon theme too. And now you can see your Linux will start looking like Mac OS. But it's not finished yet. Now go back to your browser on the left hand side, find genome shell themes and click on that. So at the time of recording this video, a newer version of Mojave came out that is new macOS Catalina. Now you got two options, dark mode and light mode. Depending on whichever you prefer, click on that and go to files and download the dash to dock, dash to panel and wallpaper zip files. So this is the wallpaper folder that you saw on the desktop earlier and I have already downloaded the wallpaper so I am not going to download it again. Now go back to the downloaded files and place them on the desktop folder too and extract them. Now go inside the dash to panel folder and here you can see different folders for different genome versions. To find out your genome version open terminal and type genome shell version. As my genome version is 3.30, now open the folder depending on your genome version and copy the Catalina folder and place it inside the dot themes directory as well. Now open up the tweak tools and change the shell theme to Catalina. That's it. We need to enable few more extensions to make this work. Go back to your browser and search for dash to dock. And install it. Then search for Blyer and install it too. Now open Tweak Tools and go to Extensions and select Dash to Dock. And change the position to bottom and if you want to change the dock or icon size you can also do that from here. Now close it and go to the folder where we kept the folders and go to the folder where we kept wallpapers. Copy the wallpapers and paste them inside your pictures directory. Now go to change background options and click on pictures. Wait for them to load up. Now select any one of them and click OK. I know some of you will be asking me what's the use of dash to doc folder we just downloaded. Actually it's not important at all and does not make any visual differences so I decided to skip that and that's pretty much all. So if you like this video please hit that like button it will keep me motivated so that I can make more videos like this and to get notified about them press that subscribe button and bell icon. I will meet you in the next video.